Okay, Barbara. So here we are down in the living room, and you've got some of your best artwork in here. It's all my best. You got all my best. <laughs> oh, there no, are still a few I true. wish we had. Um, here's the triptych. Well, this painting, let me come around. This painting started with, I think it's called Firebird. It is called Firebird. It started with this one. Um, and there's an interesting angle of a bird of paradise. And um, I did a, a series, actually, three paintings that were similar to this, but this one was just really popular. John bought the original and um, hung on the wall for quite a while. And then he said, you know what, I want something. I want it to look like a garden. I want it to be a triptych. Could you, and could you hold on a second, Barbara? So where were you? Well, he said, I want a garden. I want three large paintings that can all stand on their own, just like Firebird. Is that what I call it? It's called Firebird. The original. The original. And all go together as if they're in the same garden, number one. Number two, each one be very bold. Bold, his favorite word. And number three, each can stand on their own. So um, that's what we ended up with. Um, it, it actually started off, it was going to be three uh, 30 by 40s. This was a 30 by 40 that we started. And as you can see, what it ended up being is a 40 by 40. That's what it is now. Um, which makes it, let's see, 30, 60, 100 inches across, actually, by 30 inches up, 40 inches upside down, up and down, excuse me. This is the original. We've made G-clays of it. People love it. Um, what, what, <coughs> what happened is <coughs> we started off wanting the middle one to be like the diva, the big, bold, beautiful center of attention, and somehow being a same size, 30 by 40, just wasn't enough room for her to really show. So that's when we re restretched it, got a new canvas, and uh, made the center of attention really the center of attention. So, um, tropical triptych. Now the one on the right of the red ginger, we butted heads on that a little bit. I remember a, a really distressed evening in Lanikai when we were first painting that. Uh, do you want to talk about that? one on the right? Um, it, I took the time to redo it. It was smaller at first. What happened is I had sketched out, I always sketch the design and invite the person commissioning it to come over and make sure that it's exactly what they want. And John, you didn't come over. You sent your wife and child and they came over and they saw what I had sketched. It was smaller than this and they said, sounds good to me. And so I painted it. I got the okay from a Henrik, <laughs> painted the whole damn thing, and, um, and then you came over later after it was done and said, are you happy with this? And I said, if you wanted something different, I wish you'd come over and <laughs> not your wife yeah. and child. Live, live and learn. Live and learn. Because the other commission that we're going to talk about in a few minutes is um, the one with the mangoes. And I also had put the mangoes, you wanted mangoes, and I had made the mangoes whatever size they were, and you said, no, I want it bigger. I want it bigger. Be bold. And that's where we got the famous Be Bold, Barbara. So this one was not as bold as you had wanted, and what I ended up doing is doing the whole flower over so it is bigger and it's bolder. So I do like how it comes in and comes up as much as this and has as much presence as the far left that started the whole thing. So, yeah, that was a, a little bit extra work, but... um. But it sure looks great. <laughs> it did turn out nice. It did turn out nice. Yeah, I'll give you that. And there are two that back the room. Do you want to talk about those? They seem to go together. They kind of do, don't they? I never thought of that. They were not painted at the same time, and they did not have that, that reason to go together. But, you know, since I am the artist, I have a... Um, they all... Artists' work will tend to look good together just because even if my new stuff that has a different uh, painterly feel looks good with my old stuff because I like the colors. I, it's the same colors. That come, and, and, and let's face it, an artist, everything is always a self-portrait. Even if it's a picture of a flower, it's a pain, picture of the artist. So these are two 
paintings of me. <laughs> of course they look alike. Um, this is a, above, you know, that same thing we were talking about um, with the uh, um, water lily painting of just up and above and beautiful and glorious. And by the way, the teacher, um, um, Gary Puner, who saw a picture of this on Facebook, called it stunning. He's the one that taught me how to paint like this. And all these years later, it still passes the Gary Puner test. I guess I got an A on this, you might say. He called that stunning. So I'm glad that's here, too. Um, and this and so painting... So wh what are the names again? This is a, a, something like above. I'm really not... You know, to be honest, I would look on the back of this. By the way, everything has the name written on the back. In most it's, cases. I think there are a couple without. Really? You think so? Maybe yeah. some of my early ones? That's kind of yeah. funny. Because most of the time I do, just because... You've been good about that lately. Well, and I'm less good about always... Signing them. There's a few that haven't gotten signed. Yeah, mangoes isn't signed. Yeah, well, hmm. I will sign it. Let's hope. Um, but and then my name on the back. So um, I would, I could take that down, look in the back, and see what it is. Also, I thought I brought my catalog. I have a new uh, thing I just made. Catalog that has um, everything in it. So the paintings uh, will be in here, and I could see. What the name is, in case I forget. Um, well, if, if I can endeavor, I, will do that. I, I might try to intersperse some images with the names. Um, below, did we finish talking no, about the one on the No, we didn't. We left? just started. Actually, um, that's a totally different look. That's looking within to the center of a lotus blossom as it was growing in my friend's garden. So that's from the photography of Suzanne Zola in her Lipolani garden. Um, as as it was as it was emerging, and uh, this was one of my favorites, and I love painting the inside of it. And, and she always says this painting is real special, and it better end up in a special place. So, thank you, John. It has ended up in a special place. Behind you is a print of our f kitchen painting, but that print is very early, and I'm going to try to zoom in on it a little. And then we're going to compare the print. As if you particularly look at the orchid flowers. Okay, now we're going to swing around, but I'm going to do this slowly. Mm -hmm. 